the agency. The public face of a shadow committee of military leaders, intelligence experts, and government officials. Civil rights violations, domestic black sites, decentralized accountability. This information, it's all before Waller took over the director position. Perhaps she's given them a new direction. Maybe, but the agency's empowered to override local law enforcement with impunity. Oh, Batman's got some competition in town. I wonder if we need be worried. The Riddler's a flashy homicidal maniac with a thing for puzzles. And Waller and her agency might be just as dangerous. Again, Waller may be running a more ethical operation these days. Let's see what Riddler's little gift is all about. Solve my puzzle soon, or people will get hurt. Uh, Riddler's M.O. hasn't changed in all these years. There's writing engraved along the rim. I have an eye, yet cannot see. Who am I? That sounds familiar. I've heard it before. Don't happen to remember the answer, do you? Sadly, no. The eye of a needle. But how does that relate to the object in question? Maybe it's telling us how to use it. Ah, uh, sounds very plausible. Look at these strange grooves. forward to it. Needle. A record needle. chance of stopping a whole lot of pain. To be honest, you're already doing better than I thought. But don't sit around feeling pleased with yourself, unless you want to see me tear this city apart. I suppose you're going to look in there. An open invitation from the Riddler? Of course. Huh. Looks like I'm manipulating radio bands or waveforms, something. I'm not sure what I'm looking at or how any of it is actually displaying. And that sound. What? Oh, uh... I'm not really sure about any of it. Get Lucius on the line, will you? Hey, Alfred. Good morning, Lucius. I hope we're not interrupting your breakfast. My youngest is probably stealing all the bacon, but duty calls. What's up? This is a puzzle from the Riddler. There's a strange waveform pattern I can manipulate inside that needs your expertise. I, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I can meet you at Wayne Tower in a little bit. We'll, uh, fire up the R&D lab. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important, Lucius. No, no, don't worry about it. It's actually gonna be a big day for me. Tiffany starts at Wayne Enterprises. Tiffany? Really? Your daughter, working alongside you. How wonderful. Uh, certainly is. Bruce, I'll see you soon. Bye, Lucius. Can't wait to see Tiffany. I'll be at Wayne Tower. 
Good hunting, Bruce. Oh, excellent. I'm glad I caught you. I have some good news to share. Good to hear it, Regina. It's what I've come to expect, with you as Wayne Enterprises' chairperson. I just talked to the board, and they couldn't be more pleased with how our partnership with the GCPD is going. Seems like you made the right call when you decided to take that contract over the Arkham remodel. The Gazette's running a piece about it. Look, I would love to hear all the details, but I've got a meeting with Lucius I've got to run to. Well, I don't mean to pry, but... What's in that case? Seems like an odd thing to be carrying around the office. Oh, this? No. This is just something for Lucius. I see. Well, I've got a meeting I've got to run to. We'll pick up this conversation this afternoon. Sounds great. You're in my chair. Just updating the encryption on your bat tech. But if you want me to stop? No, the seat is all yours. This is the thing you were talking about? One of Riddler's puzzles. Some kind of test. Show me. Huh. Any idea what he's planning? Not yet. That's why I need your help. If his history is anything to go by, he left us a clue. A psychological profile of Riddler. Ah, knowing how his mind works, this should come in handy. No sign of explosives or poison. Already scanned for that in the cave. You look at that. Micro pulse waveform. Ah, and the sound it's giving off. A signal, maybe? <laughs> I couldn't decipher it. I was hoping you could help with that. I'll see what I can do. Shouldn't take long. What in the. It's not one of mine. Think fast. <laughs> Too slow. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Tiffany! Hey, Bruce. T my God, Tiffany. It's been a while. Sneaking out of orientation your first day? I just wanted to say hi to my new boss. I got you a present. A micro-drone prototype I developed in my spare time. High-end AV, stealth black shell, programmable for autonomous observation. Small, quiet, and super smart. Just like its designer. Not bad, huh? You always had a thing for toys. So hard to know what to get a man who has everything. I love it. Thanks, Tiffany. Well, I guess it's not bad. Not bad. See what I had to deal with growing up? Huh. There's something different about you. Uh, there is? And I don't just mean what happened to your ear. I can't quite put my finger on it. But you look... You look... You look... Well, please, just don't say old. Well, now that you mention it. Hey, play nice. Bruce has had a rough year. Interesting. Don't. Too late. Already touching. Just be careful. What a strange thing. The circuitry design. It's elaborate and unorthodox. Almost intentionally so. Like, whoever put it together... Was kind of showing off. Huh. Micro pulse waves? That's just weird. Seriously, what is this thing? I've never seen anything like it. It's like whoever made it. It's pretty cool, huh? I don't know if cool would be the word I would use. I can hear it hum. What does it do? That's what we're trying to work out. 
You guys are lucky I'm here to help. Uh, help with... Figure this freakish thing out. Uh, Tiffany did graduate first in her class at Cornell in molecular engineering. Let me take a crack at it. I can help you get to the bottom of this. Figure out what it does. All right, if you think you can help, then be my guest. Oh, I know I can help. I just gotta let him know that I... I won't be finishing up orientation. No problem. Oh, I was planning on swinging by the manor after work to see Alfred. I heard he wasn't doing so well. That he was having some issues with his health? Oh, well, I'll, well, I'll let him tell you himself, but, uh... He hasn't been doing so great since the kidnapping last year. Oh, no. Yeah, every now and then is, um... Hands start shaking. I'd like him to see a therapist, but you know Alfred. Well, maybe I can convince him. Catch you guys later. Welcome aboard, Tiffany. Thanks, boss. All right, then. Time to crack this puzzle. I never told her, you know. Told her what I really do at Wayne Enterprises. What uh, we do. If you're willing to pull her into this Riddler project, why not consider bringing her into the fold? Into the mission? We're going to need help if we're going to be dealing with the likes of Riddler. And we can trust her. You know how dangerous our business is. I couldn't live with myself if something happened to Tiffany. I'm just gonna have to say no. It's your secret to tell. Yes, it is. May I just say, uh, burdens are lighter when carried by many. Well, shall we go down to the lab? Actually, the equipment we need is down in my office. We'll get this taken care of in no time. Mr. Wayne. Uh, yes? I'm Special Agent Avesta. This is my partner, Special Agent Blake. Uh, well, I guess I'll see you in a bit. I'll be down in my office. Whenever you, uh, get done here? I'll be down in a few. No worries. I'll, uh, start without you. Sorry for the unannounced visit. We're with the Agency's Behavioral Analysis Unit. We just came by to ask a few questions? Please, come in. Make yourselves at home. Uh, can I get my assistant to get you anything? Uh, coffee, water, donuts? Don't worry. This won't take long. This office, it really represents you. Oh, well, I like to think so. Is this you? Yeah. How old? I don't know, seven, eight, maybe? <laughs> so happy. After everything you've been through, I don't know how you still do it. Do what, exactly? It wasn't long ago when you were the most hated man in Gotham, yet you still give so much back to the city. Why do you continue to help Gotham? Most people wouldn't be so charitable after that. What's that all about? My father did a lot of damage to a lot of people. I'm just trying to make things right. Thomas Wayne did cast a long, dark shadow. It must be difficult to get out from under it. What, uh... What is it you want? The agency recently brought me in to draft a psychological portrait of the Riddler. 
We've been tracking him for months, but haven't been able to find him. Fridler, that psycho from the news? <laughs> I thought you'd be interested, considering your history. My, uh, my history? A lot of things happened to you last year, and not all of them were good. You put yourself at risk when you helped bring in your friend Harvey Dent. He was a violent psychotic at the time, almost destroyed the city. Come to think of it, you've been associated with quite a few psychopaths over the years. I wouldn't go that far. I would. The criminally insane, they seem drawn to you. Either that, or you're often in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yes, having money and fame makes you an easy target. I've had my fair share of crazies knocking on my door. Like this guy. I think you'd know him as John Doe. We understand that it was during your stay in Arkham where you and John met and became friends. From the sound of it, you two were close. You've got to be kidding me. He's no friend of mine. That's why you came here to ask me about that guy? According to hospital records, you and John were involved in a riot. They captured the whole incident on video. John cut another inmate, a man named Victor Zaz. Then you jumped into the fray. Several people were hurt. I was... I was trying to break up a fight. I don't blame you. You must have been scared. John was discharged from Arkham months ago. No one has seen or heard from him since. I was thinking maybe you have. <laughs> Why would you think that? He listed you as his emergency contact. Uh, sounds like you two were pretty close to me. Okay, now I'm a little creeped out. I knew him for, what, a day? Maybe you made an impression on him. Well, I haven't seen or heard from him, so... Did he do something wrong? He's a person of interest. You see, we've got a wall in the office with a bunch of photos pinned to it. Two-Face, Penguin, Lady Arkham, you know, Gotham's most notorious. They've got all these little strings connecting them to one another, like a web. And you, my friend, are at the center. You keep pretty strange company for someone who wants everyone to think they're such a stand-up guy. Every association you've made so far has been investigated by the authorities or covered by the press. I have nothing to hide. <laughs> All you do is hide. Hide behind the press, behind your money, your power. I think it's all an elaborate mask. You know more than you're letting on, Mr. Wayne. Maybe you're afraid. Maybe you don't trust us. Or maybe you're a criminal, like your father. Maybe you're not the hero people think you are. <laughs> You've got the wrong idea. That's an evacuation warning. It's time for you to leave. We'll pick this up another time. Bruce, get my daughter out of the building. Get yourself out. What are you talking? What did you figure out? I've I've solved the Riddler's puzzle, Bruce. Uh, Riddler really pulled a good one over on us. I might still be able to disable it, but Lucius, please tell me what's wrong. Tell Tiffany that I love her. That I'm sorry I wasn't around more. Lucius, we really made a difference, didn't we, Batman? Lucius! Oh my god, Lucius! No! One killed and 14 injured after a tragic explosion. The GCPD is opening an investigation into what they are calling an industrial accident. Wayne Enterprises Chief Technology Officer Lucius Fox died last Tuesday in the violent blast. A small service is being held for the tech giant and father of three at Divinity Church this Sunday. You were always...
always there for me, Lucius. From the very beginning. I'm gonna miss you. He was a good man. To lose him like this, it's... it's hard to bear. Lucius helped raise you, Bruce. It was family. Riddler's attack on the casino was one thing. But this... This is personal. We can't let him get away with it. Riddler struck at the heart of our operations. And tore a family apart in the process. Don't worry, Al. I will find him. And bring him to justice. He will spend the rest of his life behind bars. I'm glad to see your sense of duty still reigns supreme. Of course, it won't bring poor Lucius back. I can't imagine how devastated she must be. To lose her father in such a violent way. <laughs> I should go talk to her. Yes. She can use all the support she can get. Hey, <laughs> Tiffany. I still can't believe he's gone. None of this. None of this feels real. Your dad was... Like family to me. If there's anything I can do, anything at all, please let me know. <sighs> Thanks, Bruce. I appreciate it. He loved working for you, you know? They hardly saw him at home because of it. Mom used to complain my little brother was growing up without a dad. Now I guess it's true. He was so busy. I can't remember the last time I got to hang out with him. Just father and daughter. I just thought there'd be more time. There were so many things I wanted to talk to him about. So much wisdom in that goofy head of his. I asked a lot of him. Maybe too much. And he gave it all, didn't he? A real company man. Well, I hope it was worth it. <sighs> Tiffany. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't blame you. <laughs> hey, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Just let it out. I'm just trying to wrap my head around it all. I saw his remains, Bruce. There, there was hardly anything left. What were you guys working on that could have caused that? It, it doesn't quite add up. Please tell me. For my own sanity. Nothing out of the ordinary. Just normal corporate R&D stuff. An explosion that size? In my dad's lab, maybe, but not in his office. I know a cover story when I hear one. And I am not that same gullible little girl who believed your ghost stories when I was six. Fine. Just tell me one thing. That weird disc. Was that what killed him? Did you put my father's life at risk for that? I'm begging you. Just tell me that one thing. I need to know. I thought it was safe, Tiffany. I, I really did. I had no idea Lucius could get hurt. Please forgive me. Forgive you? I hope you can forgive yourself. Whatever you got my father into, I will find out. 
and I will shout it to the world. <sighs> so sorry, really. It's, it's such a shame. At least he went out with a bang, oh. right? Oh. Yeah, for that, we can all be grateful. You... you knew my father. Well, no, but judging by all the lovely... John, can I talk to you a sec? Bruce! I was hoping I'd bump into you. <laughs> Why don't we catch up over here? Yeah, I'd love that. We have so much to catch up on. Enjoy the rest of your day. I know it's a close casket, but uh, I can see by the jeans. Uh, your friend was a looker, huh? Why are you here, John? I told you I'd see you again, didn't I? You and me, we're two threads in the same stitch. Look, I, I, I got you a little something just, just to mark the occasion. I knew you'd be hurting, see? I thought it might make you feel better. Um, thank you, John. That's very considerate of you. Oh, good. I wasn't sure. First time at a funeral, you see? People get upset at the littlest things. It hasn't, um... It hasn't been easy for me out here, you know? I'm the new guy now. It's the freedom that gets to you. There's so damn much you hardly know what to do with it. <laughs> it's not like Arkham. Sometimes I miss those padded walls. You knew where the lines were drawn. Which one's not to cross? How did you get out? Oh my god, did you escape? <laughs> Didn't have to. Dr. Leland signed the papers herself. She always had a soft spot for me. If everyone could please take their seats, uh, we will begin. Would you just sit down? Today we gather to honor the memory of Lucius Fox. He was a friend, a father, a husband, a leader. You are crashing my friend's funeral, John. You better have a good reason. Oh, I do. I need that, uh, favor you owe me. For settling the score with Zaz and, you know, getting you out of Arkham. You're, you're gonna do right by me, aren't you? I know you're a man of your word. Many things to many different people. I give you my word, didn't I? I'll stand by it. I knew the moment we met. Friends for life. be exactly who you needed at so many points in your lives. And now... You see, I met some inspiring people out here. Made some new friends. Made a kind of pact. They're amazing, Bruce. That special breed who live by their own rules. They remind me of you. Of your father. So who are they? You'll find out when you meet them. They're looking to bring someone like you into the fold. You are the best part of Lucius. I mean, you, you will meet them for me, won't you? Please, I've, I've got a lot writing on this. I already told them you would. Please don't let me down. I'd be happy to chat with your friends, John. Just say when and where. Oh, I was so hoping you'd say that. We are going to have so much fun.